Jeremiah 34. You know, this chapter gives great insight into our nature, human nature, and also the just righteousness and judgment of God. Let me read to you just a few verses from this chapter to highlight what I mean. This message came to Jeremiah from the Lord after King Zedekiah made a covenant with the people, proclaiming freedom for the slaves. He had ordered all the people to free their Hebrew slaves, both men and women. No one was to keep a fellow Judean in bondage. Verse 10 says, the officials and all the people had obeyed the king's command, but later they changed their minds. They took back the men and the women they had freed, forcing them to be slaves again. This excerpt from Jeremiah 34, I think it highlights an element of human nature. Inconsistency, the, the dynamic to start but not to finish, to, to begin but not to remain faithful. Well, I think if we're honest, this may be a dynamic that we all encounter, we all experience. Well, let's read on and let's see about the righteous justice of God. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. Since you have not obeyed me by setting your countrymen free, I will set you free to be destroyed, destroyed by war, disease, and famine. You will be an object of horror to all the nations of the earth because you have broken the terms of our covenant. I will cut you apart just as you have cut apart the calf when you walked between its halves to solemnize your vows. Now there's a lot culturally being spoken of there of how individuals in that culture would make a covenant together. But what this highlights for us today is that God in his righteousness and in his judgment gave the people what they deserved. They went back on their word. They obeyed for a moment and then they disobeyed. And see, disobedience deserves consequence. And God, in his righteous judgment, provides that. And you know, I think about this truth for you and I today in the 21st century, that often in life we reap what we sow. We can't sow an apple seed and expect to get a pineapple. If we sow to the sin in our life, we'll reap a whirlwind of consequence. If we sow to the Spirit, we reap life. So this is true in our experience day to day. But also this chapter for me, for you, for all of us, I hope it points us to how thankful we are for Jesus. You see, because you and I, we have something in common, human nature. This desire, this dynamic, it seems this destiny to mess up, to make mistakes, to maybe start well but not finish well. You see, in God and his righteous judgment could judge us for our sin. However, instead of judging us for our sin, he gave us his son to take upon himself the judgment for our sin. That's the good news of the gospel. Jesus, he paid a debt that he did not owe because of you, because of me, because of all of us, we owed a debt that we could never pay. So as you read this chapter today, there's some life lessons here, but there's also a wonderful truth to celebrate, that Jesus loves us, this we know, for the Bible tells us so, and that Jesus took our place so that we could experience life and forgiveness forevermore.